you came back and I'm glad you did. I'm glad you did because today we're talking about Skywave propagation. This is part two in a five part series where we're just covering the basics of HF digital modes and today is all about Skywave propagation. What in the world is that? Let's talk about it. Skywave propagation, let's dive right into it. So in radio communication, skywave propagation refers to the propagation of radio waves that are reflected back towards Earth from the electrically charged ionosphere. All right, so skywave propagation is also referred to as skip appropriately because what you're doing is you're launching it up and you're skipping it off the atmosphere and it's launching back down. Now there's a ton of science that's involved in that. That's not what this video is about and I'm not qualified to talk about that, but you now know what skywave propagation is, right? So let's move on. The father of astronomy, Nikola Tesla, the one and only, he was the one who first theorized or at least is known to have theorized about skywave propagation. He had um, claimed that he had received you know, telecommunications from aliens and extraterrestrials and maybe he was right about that and maybe he wasn't, but that was the beginning of his discovery of skywave propagation and he actually had a lab in Colorado Springs where he tested that and he was thinking that you know he was going to be able to use it for being able to get electricity out of the sky to power things around the world and he may have had he not been assassinated and all of his ideas stolen so that they could make money off of Edison's ideas to uh, charge people for electricity that was already freely existing but that's another video for another time. So since the 1920s, radio operators with limited power transmitters have taken advantage of Skyway for long-distance communication. Nikola Tesla was the first scientist in the world who thought to use the ionosphere to benefit humanity. And in 1905, he wanted to utilize the ionosphere to transmit electrical energy without wires over long distance. Now, while he may not have been able to succeed in all of his goals, we can succeed in our goal of sending a radio signal thousands of miles away by bouncing it off the ionosphere and we use skywave propagation to do that. So since then the ionosphere has not changed whatsoever. The technology that we use today is built off of the discovery made over a hundred years ago and uh, now the only thing is is we interface with it in new ways but we still use that universal constant of an electrically charged ionosphere to bounce things around the world. That concludes Part two, wasn't that easy? Now you know what skywave propagation is, right? And now you know a little bit of history about it. So stick around for part three.